Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to be looking at The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure. The game is developed by Nihon Falcom, PH3, GmbH and is published by Nice America. Azure is the second chapter to the Crossbow Saga and continues right after the events of Zero and has taken many many years to get here. Was the epic wait worth it though? Here's more details in the review. Our game story is set after the events of Zero, and we'll be following around Lloyd and the rest of the SSS as they go around Crossbell solving crimes, unearthing various plots and mysteries. So with this being a sequel, you can't merely jump in with this one or else you're going to be entirely lost. These sets of games really do require you to play them in order to fully understand what's happening with the characters and the world around them. In order to really know each character, their backstory, what's happening around them, and everything else, it is best that you go and play the Trails in the Sky arc first, then the Crossbell arc, and the Cold Steel one. With Azure, we'll be picking right back up from Zero, and as such, most characters will be making a return. There's some new characters who'll be joining us, and some surprise characters as well. The cast is a great cast, and one which really melts together to bring you a great story and gameplay. Gameplay is essentially the same formula that's followed throughout the series, and one that's continued on into the later ones. In combat, everything is turn-based. We have a choice of attacks, magic, team moves, and specials. When not in combat, you'll be exploring the city or its outskirts, either solving quests, hunting monsters, or progressing the game's main story. Azure also has a lot of mini-games too that you can enjoy as well, ranging from Pom Pom Party, Blackjack, Fishing, and a few others. These are a nice break from the main game, and help add just another layer to what was already a great game. Just like with the previous game, this one has had an upgrade with its graphics. Originally PSP games, both Zero and Azure have both been updated with enhanced graphics and visuals. You can find out more about this and exactly what's being done with the character sprites and everything else by checking out the release notes on Zero's store page. With the game's environments, it's the same as the graphics really. With this being new and updated, sprites and environments have all been enhanced for this release. And whilst this was a PSP title originally, don't go in on this one thinking that this is going to be limited because of the technology back in the day. There's a lot of areas to explore in this game, the city itself is extremely large and you'll be going all over the place from the main city, the underground, outskirts and others. If you have never experienced the Crossbell arc before, then this is a fantastic opportunity for you. It may have taken a very very long time for this to happen, and there has been various issues along the way, but both games are finally here. So if you have played the Sky and Cold Steel sagas and want to experience more, then this is your chance. The game is fun, enjoyable, and very quickly absorbs you into its world. And whilst some things are missing which I'd like, such as an English dub, I can sort of forgive this knowing what a monumental task it would have been. Well that's it for this review guys, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.